Um, we had a good week. Uh, the manager was away and, and, and Fadi took it, which was good. Um, we had a, 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 a tough week, high intensity week, which was just kind of getting my head right for the, for the. We've got a big game on Saturday, a hard game against Celtic, so everything was kind of building up and getting geared up towards that. So um, we had a couple of down days as well uh, to, to recover the body. Um, so it's been good. It's been it's been it's been a, a a good wee break for us. So, and again, it's big game Saturday for us and a difficult one. So, um, but at the same time, we've got nothing to lose. And James settling into that type of role, and that was the, the bit of it. He was perhaps said he was going to take longest to get used to. Yeah, listen, he's been absolutely fine. James knows the club inside out. He's been here. I think since I've been here, James has been here about five different times. Uh, but no, I, listen, he's he's part of this. He's, he's part of this. Uh, football club I think it was a really really good appointment I think it was at a time where uh, James was looking for a wee bit of, uh, of stability but he was also looking very good in training um, but I think it's a, a should appointment as well listen he's learning he's learning as a coach but you can see that he's, he's got all the attributes to be whether it's going to be an assistant whether it's going to be a coach whether it's going to be a manager long term James has is, 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 is got all the attributes he ticks all the boxes for it it's, a, it's probably a time where you wanted James is the type that wants to learn first and foremost the same as, as I think that's a sensible way to do it but he's come in and been absolutely terrific and he's also he's a good friend he's somebody else as well so anytime if it's on a session you want to do it to the best of your ability to help him out because he's, he's, he's still learning but he's, he's he's coming on really really well Just how daunting is the prospect of facing Celtic at the moment in terms of the way they're kind of free scoring against all sorts of opposition? It's going to be difficult. We felt when we played against them in the cup game. You, you can base it on the last two games that we've played against them. Uh, one being the last game of the season, and then the one in the cup. I felt the the one in the last game of the season. A lot of our players. It was the last last game. Celtic were in kind of party mood. I, th- I felt a lot of our, our players. It was it was a game that nothing was really kind of riding on it. Um, that gave Celtic the the kind of ability to play in the front foot. And some of our boys, it's, it was it was a case of the game's done. That's the season done. It's been a long hard season, so I don't think we were properly at it. We then played against them in the cup, and our boys were were at it a hundred percent. We just couldn't get near Celtic that night. They were they were they were moving the ball at a tempo. They were passing the ball to, to hurt you. They were looking to penetrate, um, and they were keeping possession to score goals. I think there's there's a big big difference. You guys can see that players can see that so we know it's going to be a difficult difficult task on Saturday but I heard Michael and you talking about it when, when Northern Ireland played Germany where you've got nothing to lose you know because nobody's expecting us to get anything uh, uh, at all on Saturday so you go there you can play with your freedom you can you can be relaxed I think you need to be very well organised um, which hopefully will be on Saturday and we'll give it our best shot and like I say on the day anything can happen but we know how difficult it's going to be but we certainly believe that we can get something out of the game What's the biggest difference Brendan's made to Celtic? Intensity Intensity um, Out of possession their starting positions to press are excellent with their two wide players and they've got pace they've got pace to hurt anybody I think when you play up here any side that's got pace in wider areas or in a central area will hurt, will hurt teams I think the way they play they pass the ball. If they score goals, they don't pass the they don't pass the ball for the sake of passing. And I think you can see that with the goals that they've scored, they're relentless at home. Um, and he's so far they've, they've been very very impressive. They're playing at an intensity far higher than anybody else you face in the league. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I think that's plenty of obvious for him to see. So, um, but listen, Brendan Rodgers has come in and he's set the bar. He set the bar, and what happens is, no matter what, any new manager goes into any football club, you can go in with the best ideas in the world, but if players don't buy into it, then you'll struggle. The only way players buy into it is if they see progression, if they see players, if you, they, they see success. And I think Celtic players have done that early on. You can see they're, they're free flowing, but defensively they're, they're they're very well organised. The wide players work extremely hard defensively. They're always in good areas to receive the ball, and that's when they can hurt you. Wearing your international hat as a former yes. player, what did you make of the international break? Um, the two games. Yeah, the, two games. Um, listen, the same as anybody. I think it was. I think it was disappointing the results. Um, the, the positive. I think 
me personally, I feel as if the, the country's too negative at, at, at times like this. I, I genuinely believe that when you look at the group, yes, the two games were disappointing in the results, but you, but you could have lost the two games and no end, and ended up out of the group. I don't think you're out the, we're not out of the group at all. Listen, it's going to be difficult, of course, going to England, going to he, he, he play at Wembley. It's going to be it's going to be a big ask. But when you when you're under pressure, a lot of times that's when you get your best performances as as a team. I think it's really important now that, that the country. This is just my opinion, and I'm not saying it because he's an ex-manager or because I'm I'm I'm, I'm saying it honestly. I believe Gordon's the right man to, to, to take the country forward just now. Um, and a lot's going to be riding in, in the next game. I think it's you, you could go there and you could win the game and you end up. I'm not saying you're going to end up top of the group, but you could be end up right back in contention. Um, that would be that would be my spin of that. I think what's happened's happened. You can't change it. I think if if if, if the negativity keeps on um, rolling on, it doesn't do the players any good. It doesn't do the the supporters any good. Any good. I don't think bad results or, or two results there. At, I don't think necessarily. I think if there's a lot of managers that are too quickly lose their jobs because of it. I, I don't think there's a need to do that just now. Um, that's just my opinion on it. You, you say that, that, that Gordon is the man to take Scotland off. Uh-huh. We much has been said about him and uh-huh. the results, etc. Do the media see a different side to him than the players do? Is there two Gordon strappings in a way? Um, I, the one thing that Gordon will always do, he'll always protect his players. I think when you see the best managers in the world, they'll always protect their players. Um, I think that's 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 very important. Where I think it's a problem, not just in, in, in our country, but you see it with the, with the England situation with Wayne Rooney, where the, the players and the coaching staff at any football club are, are at any at international level, they're, they're very tight. They're very tight. And the media, they don't always get to see how hard people work. Um, and I think they're quick to jump the bandwagon with everybody else. Things don't go up, change it, drop the drop the captain, drop the second manager, whatever it may be. I think when you look at the bigger picture of it just now, it's a difficult job. Whoever whoever's the manager at, at a national level, because you're you're under so much scrutiny. But I just my gut feeling just now is is that is that, is, is that I hope Gordon stays. And I hope we can get a result against England because I think if you get a result against England, then it is going to be difficult. Of course, as everybody in the country wants the same thing, they want the national team to be doing so well. Where it's difficult just now is when you look at the Euros. Wales go to the Euros, Northern Ireland go to the Euros, England go to the Euros, Scotland don't. And because of that, everybody's itching for the same thing. Everybody wants Scotland to be at a major competition. You look at how well Michael O'Neill's done, and you think. Get a manager. The next manager's going to do what Michael O'Neill can do. What Michael O'Neill's done has been remarkable. I think what Gordon does is Gordon works as hard as anybody that, that he knows. He's very experienced in the game. He's got a very good coaching staff, but he's got very good players as well. It's just trying to get the balance of winning football matches, which which was difficult. I thought there's nothing better when you're the full country's behind the national team as a player. There's no better feeling when the media are behind you, the, the fans are behind you, and I think getting into the England game. I think if everybody really, really gets behind it and see what it takes, I think that's the way to go. Whether that happens or not, time will tell. More general question. Yes. From finally from me. Why do you think that as much has been made about the defence, mm-hmm. the national defence, and, the, and the, the defenders we're bringing through? Why yeah. are we not bringing through the same level of centre halves, perhaps as, as we did? I don't know. I think it's. I, I think the hardest thing in international football is. It's very difficult to go for, for club football if you're not playing week in, week out at your club and then making that jump to be a very good international player. I think it's a, the only one I can think of that's done it in recent terms who's done it very well was Alan Hutton. I think even when you when Alan wasn't playing at Aston Villa and whatever, he was still one of Scotland's best players. That shows you how good a player Alan Hutton is. But from my own personal experiences, it was uh, when you were playing at the highest level that you can play with. I think that's why it's important Celtic are in the Champions League. I think when you've got players that are playing in English Premiership week in, week out, if you're playing in winning teams, it definitely helps. If you're playing at a Celtic or a Rangers that's, that's playing in the Champions League, you're getting that experience. You're getting used to playing at that, that level. When you play at that level, there comes a lot of pressure. But can you handle the pressure? That's when you. That's when you know 
that, that if you can handle playing at that level, you can handle playing at an international level. And I think just now, the more players that are playing in the Champions League or at the top end of the English Premiership, the better it is. And it's difficult when you're not playing week in, week out at your club side and then step in and play at a national level. Are there any centre-halves at international level you think are getting a chance but should be given a chance for Scotland? No, uh, listen, I think that uh, the, way, the way Scotland play, I think the way you need to play with Scotland, the reason they play we one striker, if you like, is because you need to, you need to keep possession in the pitch in the middle of the pitch, put in an extra midfielder, but your full backs need to need to bomb on that. That's the way the game's evolved. Teams you, to do that, you need to be well organised as well. But I think it's too. I think it's when you look at the the, the, the centre halves of Scotland. I don't think there's 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 anybody better just now that I can see other than, than, than Russell Martin and Grant Hanley. I think everybody's quick to point the finger. You know, I think. Even in the game again in the other night, I felt for ten minutes into the game, Scotland were the better side up to half time and goals change games. See if you score when you're on top at international level. And at any level, it's a big, 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 big difference towards the game. And and I think if Scotland had scored when they were on top, it would have changed the game.